Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another bundle for Unreal Engine developers, although you can often get these out into other game engines. This one is pretty much a dog's breakfast of things, to be honest, but uh, there's some real gems in here. There's a couple of turds in here, quite literally, as we will see. Uh, but basically, it's 53 items for Unreal Engine uh, 5 and above uh, from a variety of different creators. What you see in front of you, this is one of said items. This is the Barnyard. I picked about uh, half a dozen of these items to showcase in this particular video uh, and this again is one of the items we'll come back to the demonstration in just a second but quickly let's go jump in and take a look at the bundle itself it is available right here it is called the unreal engine the spring essentials utility bundle yeah like i said it's a bit of a dog's breakfast of stuff i don't really understand that expression to be honest because my dog eats the exact same thing for breakfast every day uh, but anyways you'll see here you're getting 53 items in the top tier for 30 dollars usd if you do not know how this works humble bundles a collection of stuff in this case unreal engine as Set, organized into tiers. You buy a hard over tier, you get all the stuff below. You decide how your money is allocated between Humble Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose to do. And thank you so much if you do to help support Game from Scratch. Now, there is a lot here, so I'm not going to really go through it in a lot of detail here. But as you can see, we've got stuff here from Yarwa, Decagon, Fresh Can 3D, Mocap Online, Meshing Gun, uh, Him, Night Times, BVG, Surlo, Jump Zoid, and Maxim 3D. So a number of different creators have come together to create this bundle. One dollar tier, you're actually getting quite a bit of stuff. They wanted this CD cover look thing for some reason. I'm not fully sure I understand it. Uh, you're going to find some animation packs in here. Again, some audio stuff in here. I'll show you how you redeem all these things as well. And then you've got a variety of like different developer tools here. There's actually quite a few different tools in here. Break down what they actually do in the descriptions down below. Uh, and then some uh, various different packs here. So uh, you see like Viking Warrior pack, foliage packs here, fences and so on. You jump up to the median tier here. You're getting some other stuff. Again, some of the stuff is straight out cool utilities, such as the book generator, which can be used Used to procedurally create a wide variety of books. Now, what I've noticed is the majority of these support Unreal Engine up to the new newest release version, which is always good. Um, so you can see here again, it's a blueprint-based system for creating books. Uh, then you've got things like uh, arm sets. We're going to see one of those in action in just a minute. Modular fencing, animal bones, flag generator, sort of like the book generator, but for creating flags instead procedurally. And then we go up to the full fat. You're getting a whole lot more items here. Uh, again, these thumbnails do a terrible job of representing what you're actually getting here because they've gone for this aesthetic of like 1990s CD covers. I get what they went for, but it kind of makes it a little harder to figure out exactly what you're getting here. You're getting, again, some other control systems here like this one for controlling um, traffic systems and so on. Uh, so what you're going to do is basically look at this and go, is there a single item in here at MSRP that is valuable to me? And if so, it kind of makes everything else you're getting here completely free. And then you're getting a variety of different mocap stuff in here as well. Boxing, rifles, pistols, uh, mobility, and so on. And then we got a couple more audio tracks. Now you may be wondering, okay, how exactly do you get this stuff? Well, this is kind of uh, the pain point here. What you're going to find is everything comes in as product keys that you redeem on the Unreal Engine store. Yeah, one by one. So you got about uh, 45 keys you got to redeem that way. And then you'll notice if you scroll to the very bottom, some of the audio tracks, all the stuff from sidetracks, they're uh, zip files directly on the Humble site. But for about 45 of these items, you redeem them on the Epic Games store. Now, the cool thing about doing it that way is that it's just as if you bought it from Epic Games at that point in time. So uh, it's a pain in the butt to redeem everything. I wish they could come up with a single key redemption system. But once they're redeemed, you're getting all the updates and such that happen to these as if you purchased them on the Epic Game Store. So there's a huge value in that regard. So again, here is the, um, this is the barn pack uh, that you could get from this one. It's the barn environment. It's one of the few environments in this pack, and I always like environments. Uh, generally, this stuff exports out to other game engines as well. So if you're looking for uh, a farm scenario, could be a good pickup for you. Next up, we're going to check out uh, the critters. This one is... Uh, a set of birds. So basically, you're getting low polygon and nanite versions of seagulls and crows. Uh, you can drag them in as particle systems. So they're using Niagara, uh, VFX use Niagara system. Drag them into your scene. You can see two low polygon birds flying around. They will automatically do obstacle avoidance and so on. Next up after, so there's a number of critter packs in this particular thing. Uh, then we have some foliage packs. There's a variety of these as well. So I just picked one basically at random. We'll just look at the overview map. So what you're getting here is a number of ash trees. And what you'll see here, nanite meshes here at the front, and then low poly meshes here. Now the kicker is 
I'm not seeing a huge detail between Nanite and low poly quality personally, but it's nice to have both options there. Uh, so again, there are a number of sets for things like this as well. And then we got the FPS pistol and knife set. So let's go ahead, check that one out. So we'll do the simple demo and run that. And what you're seeing here is it's a set of animations for controlling a pistol and a knife. And there's a number of different animations in here. So obviously if you're doing a first person shooter style setup, a good setup for you. It actually also comes with about seven or eight different pistols, a variety of different animations for handling this as well. So you, it's just like only through the animations that are available. There are an absolute ton of them. So you got your walk animations, your shoot animations, your idle animations, your swim, I think maybe. So uh, if you're looking to create an FPS style game, could be a good pickup for you there. Then we've got punching. This is one of the mocap demos. And we'll just go ahead and see uh, what's going on here. So a variety of different animations if you're creating a boxing style game. So there are a number of mocap patches in here. So motion captured animation data. So you can see things you need for boxing. So punches, jabs, uh, knockouts, feints, taunts, and so on. Uh, and then next up, again, chosen pretty much at random. Uh, we have, uh, let's go to the maps here. Uh, the knight and the blacksmith character. So let's do the, uh, we'll do the outfit controller for the knights. Um, so it, it's a high quality character model right here. You can see him in action as it loads in. A variety of different um, outfits available like so. Uh, same head every time, but what you can do is I could select one of these guys, like let's exit out, I'll play that. And I could go ahead so here you see a variety of different guys controlling. Oop, ran out of ran out of video memory. It's not liking the recording and rec and uh, playing at the same time. You can see a variety of different guys there. But you can grab an individual here. So I grab this guy right here, uh, and then I can go down to the outfit controller on this guy like this. And you got a number of different settings for controlling that. But we're going to randomize all of them. And you can see everyone here is about to get a new outfit as soon as it catches up. So here, let's go ahead, randomize. Randomize, randomize, randomize. So there's two characters in this pack. The other one is a blacksmith style character. Let's go take a look at the, uh, here, maps, blacksmith, and we'll just do the beauty shot on the blacksmith. So you get an idea of what's going on with this guy. Pretty straightforward. So uh, blacksmith character, again, configurable, multiple different outfits as well, uh, and then, Final demonstration here is one of the tanks. There are a couple of different tanks in this set. Uh, these have been in previous Humble Bundles though, so make sure you check this one out. Make sure you don't already own it. Uh, this is the French main battle tank, the Leclerc. Uh, so let's go ahead and show, I think it's this one. We'll show the showcase. So this gives you an idea of the quality of the, the tanks themselves. Um, and then I'm gonna show you something that's gonna be really impressive to be honest. So here is the tank itself. So we can switch out the camo on it once I focus the scene multiple different camels, and I can toggle destructibility. So there's a destruction mesh as well. So multiple different camel sets, multiple different tanks. So there's a few tanks in this pack. There's a, a T-55 as well, I believe. Uh, so I'm gonna just go back here. I'm gonna show you this. So this is really impressive. This is the controller that actually comes with this tank. So if you wanna create a tank style game, uh, this is pretty amazing how much this actually has. So it's got a full controller in here, basically a War Thunder World of Tanks style game. So I can come in here, drive the tank, you'll see that the turret moves separately from the tank. I have aiming controls, hit controls right here. I can toggle my weapons, and so on. It's pretty impressive what they've done for this particular demo. And that is kind of it for the hands-on demonstration part. So this is the Unreal Engine Spring Essentials Utility Bundle. Again, it's a huge kind of dog's breakfast of things in here, mocaps, characters, uh, and then we've got things like plugins here for this is for doing uh, volumetric lighting effects as an example. Uh, we have a number of critter packs. We saw this one, this has got the crows and seagulls, but there's other ones in here as well. A couple of different tanks here. There's the barnyard environment we saw, then we saw dome shaders here, a variety of different foliage packs, a number of different animation packs, some audio packs in here. Again, all the audio packs are downloadable on the humble servers, not redemption keys, uh, barriers, uh, other characters here, this is the two character pack we saw. Another tank with the same setup, so this is a T55A in this point. A number of different uh, 
character creatures that are animated. Uh, and then we just got things for populating an environment. So again, it's a real eclectic mix of stuff. But once again, it boils down to if there is a single item in there that you would pay the MSRP for, you're going to get all the other stuff more or less for free. Unfortunately, again, you are redeeming them one by one on the Epic Game Store. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the bundle. Let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.